What is up everyone? It's the Drummer Nerd and welcome back to Ark on the Sandbox Survivor server. Got a little bit of work to do today. I feel like I'm actually probably not in the right clothing for this because, you know, we got to get our builder's outfit on. So I should probably go change. But first and foremost, we got a little bit of a project list going on here. There's a lot of things I've been wanting to do with this base and we've been spending so much time playing around with some of the new things that have been coming out and trying to get ready for the Oviraptor that we've kind of neglected the house and truthfully after having built the house and kind of building this barn thing that we have going on back here I've realized some of my mistakes which is probably going to cost me a little bit of time and uh, obviously a lot of resources as I have to rebuild stuff um, but I really wanted to kind of update my workspace here because right now uh, you know let's go take a look at the current workspace Right now, the current workspace is inside the house, uh, which I thought would be really cool. It's also upstairs, which I thought would be really cool. As it turns out, it's a huge pain in the butt. A huge pain in the butt, because whenever I get materials to bring up here to work on stuff, I have to cart it upstairs, and I only have so much weight to allow me to do that, so I'm often making multiple trips, uh, especially... When we get metal. I mean, that's... You're just asking for it. I, it can only carry one stack of metal at a time. I don't think there's any in here now. We got some materials for some of our build today. But, you know, the only way you can do it is by grabbing some metal. And running across here and going upstairs. And it's just... It's a huge waste of time. It's really not worth doing. And we built this whole building so that we could fly something like Detective Flaps in here. Land them. Drop off stuff. And start working. So I'm thinking that this particular space will end up actually being our workspace. And I'll probably utilize as much of this space as I can for the actual uh, building structures. Like the smithy, like the fabricator. Uh, and maybe even leave it open so that we can put larger industrial type things once we start getting more of those. And a little bit more space for more vaults as we start to move towards just using vaults eventually for storing a, a majority of our stuff so you know that's going to take a little bit of doing because obviously i have to tear down a lot of this space if we're really going to utilize this i don't like the construction of the building for what we want to do plus you got to check this out i found this really cool trick out from doing a little bit of research on how we can add a little bit of uh what's the term that i want to use texture to our buildings so check it out, check it out, check it out. I'm excited about this. I can't wait to give this a shot. Uh, it took me a while to figure this out. I saw this in some images online, but it was hard to, to really get it figured out. So check this out. And just ignore what you're seeing here because we're going to look here first. So this is what your typical, you know, one foundation kind of boxy look looks like. A little bit of texture because you have the difference in material here. And then obviously, whoa, whoa. Okay, so we're back. Obviously, we have the difference in material here because we're using stone for the walls as well as stone for the foundation. The texture's a little bit different, but you still kind of have the same build going on here. Then we found out that you can, and it takes some doing, place pillars on the corners of foundations and put walls in between. Look at how sweet that looks. It gives a little bit of texture, and it obviously looks way better here, I think. Uh, and I still haven't figured out whether or not I like the wood walls or the stone walls. They mix it up a little bit. I'm sure there's specific times where one's going to look better than the other. You can also see that the ceilings come off of that just fine. And the nice part about this is, once you place down your first pillar, the pillar will snap in the ground one space over no matter what. So you can continue your build without necessarily having to use foundations once you've placed your first one. So, let's see. Let me grab my foundation. I want to show you guys how we figured this out. And if you didn't know this, and this should be something pretty cool for you to learn. So we'll place our foundation. And I'm going to grab... Hmm, you know, i got to grab some off of... Do I have any on you, Flaps? Do you have any? Did I forget the most important part of this build? Hold on. Hold on. Cut, you know, take the break, take five. We forgot some materials. All right, Flapsy, you just hang out there for a second, all right? All right. 
Uh, let's use wood. Wood's cheaper, and I probably won't use wood pillars for our build. Alright, come on. Let's go back. Here we go. Let's just pretend I edited that part out where I wasn't prepared for you guys, alright? Let's we'll just pretend. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, regular old foundation in its current form. You'll notice this thing ain't placing on the corners. It'll place on the sides. It'll place in the middle, but not the corners. And if we do it this way, you know what? I got enough. Let's just use one. And let's grab, uh, wait, nope, I have it. Stone. So, check it out. If I try to put the stone wall up here, no dice, not going to fit. Object is obstructed. There's a little bit of a trick here. We found this out online. Thank you to everybody online that finds these things out because this is super cool and I can't wait to use it some more. We can snap the pillar to fence foundations and, check this out, you can place a fence foundation and it'll snap against the stone foundation. Now, here's the trick. Initially, you're going to see it snap to the ground. We don't want that. It's not going to work if we snap it to the ground. If you lift up just a little bit, kind of moving your way around, now you see it's snap to the top. Snap that in there. Okay. Bam. Right on the corners. What's even better is we can go right up here. And we can remove this fence foundation. And it doesn't matter. It's gone. And I can still place it on the corners. Because now it's snapping to the existing pillar. And I can go this way and snap there. And it's the same distance. And what's really cool with this then is... It's probably not going to do it right here because there's nothing underneath it for it to snap to. But check that out. I can place the wall in between. And now we have this cool texture where it's not just one flat wall. And this is something I've really been looking to do with the stuff that we have here. It's just somewhat difficult with this game. Obviously, this is a little bit of a trick to get this to work. It's not something that's just uh, readily available for you to use. So this is something that we want to do with our base moving forward. And I haven't quite decided yet whether I want to uh, kind of start from scratch with these two buildings. Obviously, that's going to take a long time since we're only going to get half the resources back. But it might be worth doing in the long run if I want to have some uh, some unification to the buildings. And right now, we made a bit of a mistake when we were building this in that I didn't leave some of my initial foundation for the ceiling for, uh, for this kind of side building here. So it's not aligned with the house. Uh, and really, it's not aligned with a lot of the different things here because the foundations don't align with the ceiling. You've got stuff poking out. It just looks ugly. Really, I don't mind taking this down. It's just these. It makes me sad if I got to tear these down. It makes me really sad. Are you guys under foundations? Oh, no. One's under a ceiling. You know what really scares me is that if there's a foundation there. And there's a foundation there. So I wonder if I can rip that ceiling out. Hmm. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tear the ceiling down here, and I think I'm going to pull these walls off. Really, truthfully, I'm not even sure if I'll leave the walls at some point for the workspace, just because I just want flaps to be able to land. I'm not really worried about stuff breaking anything here, but uh, maybe we'll make it so that it's somewhat suspended, and, you know, normal walking around creatures can't get up there. We'll have to be using a flyer. Ah, well... This will be fun. This will be fun. Guys, I promise. It'll 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 be fun. It'll be exciting. It's uh, Why do I do this to myself? And we're back. And I've gone overboard again. Why do I keep doing this to myself? I I don't know. So check this out. A little bit of an idea here. So I I went with our little architectural uh finding, we'll call it, over here. And uh now that I'm thinking about it, I might change a couple things back, but I'm really, really trying hard to not have to remove these vaults. But I also, for the sake of going for new architecture, want everything to be nice and neat and clean. 
And uh, you really just can't do that with foundations and ceilings. And there was no way for me to make everything level here without raising everything up a little bit with the pillars. So what I did was I used our existing level with wood ceilings to allow me to build a wall here so that we could place the ceilings up one more level. Uh, because you could not place the ceiling on top of what we have here. It would just try to place right on top of these guys. Uh, in fact, let's see. I'll show you real quick. You give me these because I'm sure we'll use them. Uh, maybe a little bit of these because I'm sure we'll use those two. Too many. Put it back. So if you just tried to place the ceiling on top here, it, oh, well, that's obviously a bad example because it's right next to it in a snap. It won't place in between. It just doesn't want to do it. So if we place those walls down, and I'm, I'm going to continue with the wall around just to kind of fill in the space and make it look good because, uh, yeah, you know, just a bunch of empty space doesn't really look very good. And uh, the other thing that I found was, you know, and let me let me grab one of these too so I can show you how this works because I thought this was pretty neat. So another reason why we're doing all this stuff is so we can use these pillars as accents for our building and our walls. Uh, you can just toss the stone pillar on top of these wood ones and it doesn't break anything. And that way it'll look cool when I want to build up a little bit higher. Uh, but I can work with... I don't know if I want to use this. That may have been a bad example. Sorry. So we use wood pillars on the inside to basically lay our foundation and be... Uh, kind of guide points for when we're ready to use those stone pillars and because they're cheap I can just lay down a ton of them no problem whatsoever especially since we got a lot of materials back from having broken down this massive massive building so I have a little bit of a vision in mind of what I want to do for this and it's kind of hard to see now as we're just putting things together but I'm thinking what I'm gonna do to allow me to still have this vault here or a two vault, I should say, and uh, not have to move those. And uh, this is probably going to end up being foundation again, just so that stays consistent on that side. And I can probably fill this part in with walls if I really, really wanted to. We'll see. I think the consistency, at least on this side, will be necessary, but maybe not for the other sides. And what I'm thinking that we can do here is, if I continue with these ceilings, another cool piece is, is that you'll notice uh, it's hard to see. So I'll get up there as soon as I can, but these are flush over the top of these wood pillars. So you don't see any of the wood coming through the bottom, which is super duper awesome. And it makes me super duper happy because it's pretty much what I was hoping would happen is that we wouldn't see any of that garbage. And we could continue being a happy nerd. Let's see. And then Jen Rich stick it. I might have to swap out these inside ones here with stone to make that look cool. But let's grab one of the birds. I moved all the birds. I need a smaller bird. Sorry, big old Ketsy. You are way, way, way too big for what I want to do here. So what I'm thinking is we'll make this nice big platform where the Kets can land and we can dump stuff off. And look at this. You can still access the vaults. No problem. Might even see if we can stick something here to cover this up a little bit. I don't know yet. Uh, cause I don't... Oh. Really? Uh, wait, wait. Okay, so it won't let me open the vault if I do that. Yeah. Uh, let me make sure that we're on the right one. Okay. That would have been really cool for uh, looks purposes, but I guess it makes sense that that doesn't work that way. I'm just going to have to be really careful that I don't fall down there or I have some kind of way to get myself back up. Maybe we'll see if we can throw a ramp down there and if that will... What are you looking at, man? I know. I love you too. It's all good. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bird face. Right in my face. Okay. Okay. Dude, you got a cool looking face. You need some paint, though. We need to get some paint. We need to get some paint going on for the rest of these dinos. I have to say, I'm excited to see what we can do with some of these kind of architectural changes. 
I've been looking around a lot at different bases and uh, even some of the Sandbox Survivors guys. And there's some really, really cool architectural things that these guys are doing. And I'm sitting here with my, you know, large, mostly square building. And, you know, truthfully, it's cool to have large buildings, but they don't really do that much for you in here unless you're storing dinos because I made this huge building over there and most of the space isn't being used and having a ton of uh, extra uh, building stuff like refining forges and all that stuff is becoming less and less necessary with all the industrial items that they're adding into the game so although those items take up a lot of space generally we're not going to be using up a lot of our space with smaller crafting things so and then, you know, for the most part, as a single person, you don't really find yourself using nearly as much of those, uh, well, can I crouch on, no, whoa, whoa, hey, wrong button, I've been playing other games lately, you can't tell, you can't tell at all, <coughs> Fallout 4, um, with, <laughs> just playing as one person, you, you know, you don't find yourself using nearly as much of the stuff as, uh, say, if you were in a tribe and you would really need to use a lot of those um, crafting places and extra crafting bits. I, I just don't need them. I only need a handful of them, um, especially with all the industrial stuff. So I figure I want to go with the more, um, a smaller and more unique and detailed building and... Once we get past the usability stage, which is what we're doing here with this workshop, by having all the things we need to actually be able to continue playing the game, we'll get into some of the more decorative stuff like you know, maybe making bedrooms. Um, well, I'm missing something there, aren't I? Uh, you know, making cool rooms where you know I will probably look at every once in a while because <laughs> I don't really use that kind of stuff when I'm hanging out, but still looks cool and is kind of part of the build idea and get a little bit more into kind of technical building and not just dino stuff because uh, I feel like we've been doing a whole lot of the dino stuff lately and while I feel like we've made a lot of progress with what we have with our dinos obviously with a giant building across the way that's gonna house all of our egg creating dinos um, you know, it just feels like that's all that our focus has been lately. So I kind of want to change that up a little bit and get some of these cool build things going on and hopefully make some stuff that inspires you guys too to make some cool build stuff. And, uh, you know, stop doing that. Stop. You're going to break all your stuff because you can't figure out how to use the right buttons. Dude, okay, there's foundation right there. Hello. There's plenty of foundation here. What you talking about, Willis? Well, I think we've finally come across the game-breaking piece of our little building here. Are these guys not going into the ground or something? Um, hmm. Prone? Can I crawl under here? Oh, I can totally crawl. No. Oh. So here's the problem. I'm going to need to stand up eventually. Can I get out? Yeah, we're okay. You're okay. Jump. Let me up. Hmm. So... Okay. Is that going to be a problem? I'm thinking it might be a problem. But I'm also thinking we might go back to foundations here. Maybe I'll switch those out with foundations. Here, here's the real magic trick. I don't have it on them. We need to make sure that these ceilings are going to go all the way across here. If the ceilings don't go all the way across here, we do have a problem. If they go all the way across here, then yeah, whatever. We'll figure it out later. Not too concerned if this does fit as I expected it. No! No, 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 no. Don't be like that. Oh, we're going to have to figure out why that's showing no foundation. Because that's going to be uh, that's gonna be a problem. Hopefully I don't have to just back this out a little bit. Why? How could you not be a... Both of you guys are in the ground. I'm looking at you as foundational pieces right now. Same thing with this. What are you talking about? Well, so there's three spots here that I'm not able to use because it does not consider them to be foundations. Now, here's the deal. 
One, two, three, four, five. These are all spots that I was considering replacing with stone foundation anyway. So why don't we see if we have enough materials to stone foundation this. Can I get in here? Can't. Not from the bottom. Darn. That would have been sweet. That would have been super sweet. But can we crouch? Yeah, totally. Okay. We're good. Let's see if we have enough materials to craft up a couple of found. <sighs> Come on. I'm also thinking of using this little space down here for running electrical wires so that you don't see the wires. I think that'd be really cool. I only need a couple of these guys. Let's see. Do, 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 do. So I know it's been a little while since I've actually done any crafting and like gathering stuff on screen with you guys. It's a little bit weird, I know. I try to cut a lot of this stuff out because it's boring, you know. It's You do the same thing over and over again for hours upon hours upon hours and it's really just not interesting to watch, truthfully. Um, not going to have enough wood. But hey, you know, we only have a couple of the uh, of these things to make and... Hopefully this will do the trick. I'm going to be really, really sad if it doesn't. Because that's a lot of materials that I wasted if it doesn't work. Okay, so... This is going to break the ceiling above me. Nope, never mind, I lied. Coo. Let's put this guy here. And... Right meow. Okay. We're getting closer. I can feel it. I feel it in my veins. Don't ignore my veins. Did that... Okay, so that was... There's a good reason why that particular one wasn't working. Now, I'm willing to bet because this is here, I should be able to place Mira. Yeah! We're winning the game, guys! We're winning the game! Okay, so... Last little thing that we forgot to do. Is he gonna let me back up here with his roof? Oh, yeah! Do I have mommy? Of course I don't! Jeez. I wonder about myself sometimes, guys. I wonder what we're going to do. Because my brain certainly doesn't work for most of the day. <laughs> and then I come and I try to do this with even less brain power. Woo! It's a wonder that I can uh, do anything at all. Okay, how's this going to go? Why does that look like that's placing in two different directions? All right, cool. You look good. Cool, you look good too. Let's do this from outside. Uh, place. Cool. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Stop crouching, thank you. Uh, let's see, the RG's hanging out up here still. Come down here, RG. It doesn't have a name yet, because I'm lazy. Um. Well, that's curious. So those all placed it. Uh, okay. So that's going to require some fixing. We're going to fix that. Yeah, I tell you what. Let's fix that real quick. And then uh, I'm going to come back with some of the crafting stuff that we need. And some of the other storage ideas that I have. So we'll be right back. All right, just got finished crafting up a couple of new cool things. Uh, let's give this a shot. Um, hmm. Hmm? This has got to go undone, unfortunately. That's all right. I'll get over it. Uh, I have an incline cable. Incline cable? I don't even think I actually need to remove the wall. I think I can just go straight out, which is kind of funny. And I'm really, really hoping that this is at the right height. I'm really hoping that this is going to go in and be nice and hidden. I have a feeling I should have taken this little side door. Uh, let's see what we can do. I want to get this cable run. We'll uh, we'll drop our new fangled... Um, connect! Come on! Connect for me! I don't want to get on the bird! No, RG! Come save me! That's happened on more than one occasion. Oh, we figured out that X stops the bird. I was told that. Made me feel really stupid. As I was trying in my last episode, very dramatically, to stop the bird. 
and it wouldn't stop. Uh, you gotta go straight. Really, I really want you to turn. I hope I don't have to put a, a T out here to make this thing turn. If you can't tell, I don't play around with the electrical wires that much. You know, it's fine. Let's just get this over here first. Please? Please connect? Why aren't you connecting? Oh my gosh. Building on a bird. Not fun. Connect, please. Awesome. Yeah, I just really don't want to have some, like, T-connected cable hanging out of my roof. I mean, I guess I could do it, uh... I guess I could bring it down this way a little bit more. Yeah, you're going to be doing that to me, aren't you? Okay, so I fixed this. I think this is cool. I fixed this. This looks good. I'm happy about this. Uh, it's a little bit treacherous over here. You don't want to fall down there because it's kind of hard to get out. So I think we're ultimately going to have to recreate these and move them, which makes me a little bit sad. Uh, at the same time, you know what? It is what it is. I think that we got plenty of use out of where these are right now. I don't really want to use the cable intersection there. Thank you. Let's see. Will this let me... Because I'm not going to be able to connect this way, right? That's only going to snap. Am I too far? No! Stop! Falling. Ugh. Alright. You know what? This is taking too long, man. Let's just get... Let's just get back on the bird. Maybe not on the bird. I don't know if I have enough uh, materials over here to do this right now, do I? It's really irritating that I can't make this turn here. I, I swear that you could make these turn. And I don't think that there's any other cables that'll make it turn. No, I have them all. You need to use an intersection. That kind of sucks. Well, I'll tell you what. Let there's Those are really, really cheap to make. I mean, obviously, we get metal like there's no tomorrow. So let's just get it hooked up because I want to see this place lit up. I want to see this ready to be used for our crafting purposes. And uh, getting stuck because I don't want this to come sticking out of the walls here. Or sticking out over the top of all my stuff is kind of silly. We can always fix that later. Snap. Okay, so now let's get this uh, ugly, ugly looking thing. This is why I don't want this to be outside. Cause, well, come on, come on. Look at how silly this looks. This whole thing. I don't mind a little bit of it sticking out, but just over the entirety of this base, no, not feeling it. We'll have to fix that later. And I also have a feeling that this is going to be a little taller than I want it to be. Let's see if the cables will hide under the ceiling here oh my gosh it doesn't get any closer than that <laughs> let's see I actually really wanted to use that T for something else too oh wow look at that let's see um yeah so I really wanted to use the T probably here-ish to put our lamps down. So I think we're going to need to make another one. Because I don't think that the electrical cable is going to... I don't think the electrical outlets will fit far enough. So let you know, it only takes a second. Let's just go make one. I should have enough materials to make a ton of these things. Turn on this noisy thing. Uh, no, 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 no. Electrical. Make one of these. Turn off this noisy thing. Yep, poop inside the house. Also, uh, very hygienic. Oh, we're really gonna need to put a ramp or something on here. I keep keep forgetting not to. I keep forgetting to put a ramp on. Come on, Argy, get off your lazy butt. We are still working. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I did this little hatch because I kept getting stuck under here and I couldn't get out. It was becoming a pro. Argy. Stay. Why do I always forget to do that? Okay, so that's where our vaults are. Yeah, we should be good, right? Meow. So let's go this way. Um, one more. 
Yeah. Now, here's this trick. Is the outlet going to stick outside? Because I'm not going to like that. But I might live with it. Oh, I don't think it's going to. Sweet! Okay, let's go this way. Huh? Come on. Where on earth did that cable go? It's above me, isn't it? The hard part about building with this little trick that we had found, too, is that a lot of stuff doesn't like to snap very nicely. In fact, it's kind of the opposite of nice snapping. <laughs> so keep that in mind if you decide to follow this, uh, this style of architecture and build. Oh, no. I ran out. I ran out of cables. Why? This is just the way that it goes. Though I'm thinking I might not even want to go that far that way because, uh, you know, I don't know if we want to put lights down on that far end there. I made a couple of lamp posts. Kind of wanted to put them in the corners, but I'm pretty sure the cable is not going to... Ooh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah? Yes. That's ugly. Yes. There's no way it's going to reach this corner. We want it to reach this corner, too. That's probably why we'll need to bring... Three will be fine for now. Let's turn them on. Bzzz. Yeah, it's going to be super bright out here once I get this last one connected. Might need another one of those little T-junction things. All right, stop talking. Finish up this project. Let's let these poor people go. They've been listening to you yammer on for way too long. Um, Fabricator. Let's go back here with the Fabricator. Let's uh, bring it in a little bit. You yeah. can actually K and orbit yourself out a little bit, which is something I've not done often enough with these types of buildings. Um, centered? Are you centered? Good enough. Bam! That's one. Okay. And uh, you actually... Do I really need to K this one? Yeah, totally. Okay. Awesome. So we've got a little bit of a workspace going on here. I, I still think it's a work in progress, but I'm liking the fact that we can simply uh, kind of bring up this architecture. Please don't fall. We can simply bring this architecture up a little bit here with the, the stone pillars on the side. So all I got to do is come over here and drop one of these guys down. And we could even wall ourselves in a little bit if we so choose Really why I did this over here is because I'm going to expand this off into the house building once we get a little bit closer to kind of moving the stuff back out of the house and removing some of the stuff that's inside the house. Make a cool build. And, uh, yeah, I think it'll be cool. Well, that's going to do it for old Jim Bob here today. Hope you guys liked today's episode. I know it was a little bit longer and a little bit more buildy than most of the other episodes we've had so far. Getting a little tongue-tied. Uh, let me know what you think of this little architecture style. I'm really looking forward to building with this in the more detailed builds. Again, this was kind of a little bit of a test and get things kind of nice and lined up. But I can't wait to see what this looks like with some actually cool buildings. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you like the stuff I've been doing so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I want to hear what you guys think about this architecture style, all right? Comment. Do it. Do it. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>